Hi and welcome in this new video. My name is Mark Lamati and I'm excited to present you the new React plugins in Airflow 3.1. In case you did not know, since Airflow 3, the UI is based on React. So you can create React plugins to customize the user interface as much as you need. Concretely, Airflow offers a generic toolbox for working with data and different organizations have different stacks and different needs. So using Airflow plugins can be a way for companies to customize their Airflow installation to reflect their ecosystem. Basically, plugins can be used as an easy way to write, share and activate new sets of features. So there are many examples in which plugins are useful. For example, maybe you want to create an anomaly detection framework, allowing people to collect metrics, set thresholds and alerts, or maybe you want to create an auditing tools helping understand who accesses what, or last but not least, you want to create a model to take bulk actions on DAGs. And there are many other things that you can do. I mean, pretty much the sky is the limit here in terms of what you can add to your Airflow instance. To create a plugin, it is pretty straightforward. You just need to drop the files corresponding to your plugin in the plugins folder and then you will need to derive the Airflow Plugins Manager, Airflow Plugin class and reference the objects you want to plug into Airflow. For example, here I create a file my plugin in the plugins folder that derives the Airflow Plugin class and then the name of my plugin is Tag Manager and it has three components. The first one is a set of API endpoints and that's why I have the fast API underscore apps where I pass the app config and you will see in a second what is app config. Then I have an external view that will be rendered in the Airflow UI as well as React app Hello World app. Keep in mind there are many things that you can add to your Airflow instance. It's not just views. For example, you can add a new listener, you can add a new timetable and so on. I strongly recommend you to look at the documentation to learn more about that. But enough talking, let me show you a plugin in action. All right, so this is my Airflow instance running with the Astro CLI. And as you can see, I have the plugins folder with a file in it plugin syntax corresponding to my plugin. There is a lot in that file, but I want you to focus on first this import. So you have to import the Airflow plugin class. And then at the bottom of the file, you can see my plugin. So this is the class that inherits from the Airflow plugin class. And then the name of my plugin is DAG Manager. And that plugin has three components. So first we have the fast API apps that contains the components modifying the Airflow REST API. So for example, here I have app config. And if we take a look at the configuration of app config, you can see here that we have the app. I'm going to show you that in a second. Then the URL prefix, how to access that component from the Airflow user interface. And finally, the name of this component. If we take a look at the app, so let's scroll up. You can see here, that this is a fast API app, meaning I'm adding new API endpoints to the Airflow REST API. Which endpoints? Where well, you can see that. So here is the first one at the root of the URL prefix that you can find right here, okay? And then we have other endpoints such as this one, health, as well as DAGs, and so on. Concretely, if I go on the Airflow UI and then use the URL prefix, simple plugin as defined in my plugin, you can see that now I have this endpoint showing the information as described right here. Okay, so that's how you can add endpoints to your Airflow REST API. Now, another component, interesting to see, is the second one right here, the external views. So an external view is basically additional views that are rendered on the Airflow UI. And here we have one, which is the DAG management view. To access that DAG management view, you can see here, again, we have the configuration of that component and here is the URL to access it. So I can just go on slash dashboard or I can go to the nav bar under the admin category and click on the DAG manager. So let me show you that. If you go back to your Airflow UI and go to admin, as you can see here, we have the DAG manager. So if I click right here, I open the DAG management console. And if you wonder where is the code corresponding to that view, well, it is under the slash dashboard API endpoint in the plugin. As you can see here, we have that function and then all the code, which is JavaScript and uh, HTML code. Okay. So that's how you can create an external view. In addition, you have another component in that plugin, which is the React app. And that's actually a new component in Airflow 3.1. You can embed a React app 
in your Airflow UI. So let me show you that. You have the Hello World app. You can see here again the configuration of that component. This is the URL that contains the React app. Also, I have the destination dashboard, which means that React app will be embedded on the Airflow homepage. And that's what you can see. So if I go on the Airflow UI, this view that you can see right here, where I can take bulk operations on DAG, is a React app. So if I want to pause all of my DAGs, I can click on that button. And if I want to unpause all of them, I can click on that button. But again, what you are seeing here is a React app. And I can show you the code quickly. So what you can see right here under the slash hello.js API endpoint, as defined right here, hello.js, you have the React app with all the code that we need. So that's it about React plugin. Again, I strongly recommend you to look at the Airflow documentation because you can customize your Airflow UI as much as you want. And now with the React plugins, we can just do some really crazy, amazing things. So I hope you're gonna enjoy the React plugins and I see you for the next video. Take care.